stampers, the staunch nuns to being thoughts to net. And today we're going to make this really sweet project. This was one of the projects that we made at my Glitter Queens retreat this last weekend. And it's a mini coffee cup. And then it also holds a gift card on the back side of it. Okay. So let me tell you where I got the coffee cups. These are sold separately, the cups from the lids. And what's really weird is that they'll sell the cups in 50 count but then the lids are on a hundred count, but anyway, so I ended up buying two packages of 50 and they're very inexpensive and the store is called Websterant Store and they're found online and I'll have a link right below this video to purchase these if you want to. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So the early espresso, this piece is cut at two and a half by 11 and then the crumb cake this piece is cut at two and three eighths by three and five eighths. The small piece is cut at five eighths by two and three eighths. The designer paper, which is the coffee break, this piece is cut at two and a quarter by three and a half, and then the little tiny piece is cut at a half inch by two and a quarter. And then for the belly band right here on the back to hold the gift card in place, this piece is cut at three fourths by six and a half. Okay, so let's grab our paper trimmer. Okay, so first we're gonna do some scoring. And this is the 11 inch side across the top. We're going to score this at four and a half, seven, seven and three quarter, and ten and a quarter. Next, we're going to grab my pencil and we're going to work between the 10 and a quarter and the 7 and 3 quarter. We're going to find the center mark of this square right here just because I want to punch that in the center to hold the cup and I don't want it to be off center. So if you can line that up perfectly then you can just skip right over this So piece. to find the center I'm going to fold over the 10 and a quarter inch piece and I'm going to line this up at 1 and a quarter and I'm just going to draw a pencil line. Then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to also line this up at 1 and a quarter and draw a pencil line. Okay, so I don't know if the pencil line is going to show up on camera, but this is my center of this square. So this is what I'm going to punch out with the two inch punch. But before we do that, we're going to do some stamping. I'm going to grab my Early Espresso Classic Ink. Okay, so the stamp set we're using is the Coffee Cafe, and we're using the coffee beans to stamp the background. And then I went ahead already and stamped the Thanks a Latte. And then remember, this also has the Framelits, which is the coffee cups framelits, and you can purchase these in a bundle and save 10%. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and stamp on this section right here. Okay, and then I went ahead already and stamped the Thanks a Latte. And I punched that out with the framelits, with the coffee cup framelits right there. So we're done stamping. Okay, now we're going to take our two inch circle punch. And remember that pencil line that we made. Now you can take a smaller punch, which this is the one and three eighths, if you want, to punch it first to get it centered. And then you can take your two inch circle punch and then center that circle. It might be easier to see. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add tear and tape to this edge right here. Okay, so now let me show you how I decorated the cup. So I went ahead already and did this one. But let me show you here on an, a brand new one without any paper on it. So what I did is I took the designer paper. Let me get my template. Okay, so this was actually a cup, this cup right here. What I did is I cut it apart and I laid it flat so I could get a template. And then I made my own template with the designer paper. Now you'll notice that this is a little bit longer. And I did that on purpose because the designer paper needs to wrap around the cup. I'll show you on this one here. So you'll just... Wrap it around and then you'll have some area to adhere the designer paper to your cup where it's going to overlap like that, okay? Okay, so then when you take your cup apart, just add like an inch, an inch and a half or so. You'll see when you make the template. Okay, so I'm going to take our 
designer paper and I'm using the coffee cup so I want this to sit right on the cup so I'm going to put this face down with the cups going the right way and then I'm going to trace this template onto the designer paper. And then of course I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Okay, so there's my cup wrap. Okay, so now we're just going to take our wrap and we're going to do like a dry run of the wrap. I'm just showing you what I did on my cup. So you might find a better way to do it. Okay, so I'm going to dry wrap it, just get an idea if it's going to fit exactly. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my liquid glue and I'm just going to put it onto the cup on the one end. Just like that. Hold it there just for a second. And then what's nice with the liquid glue too is you have some wiggle room so you have some time to adjust the designer paper to fit on your cup really nicely. Okay, so then just hold that in place. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then your lid is going to go right onto the coffee cup, just like that. Isn't it cute? But like I said, I already did one, so we'll just use that one because it's dry. Okay, so let's okay. go ahead and continue with the project. Okay, so we're going to take our designer paper and our crumb cake pieces. We're going to layer these together. Now we're going to go ahead and peel off the backing of our tear and tape. I'm going to use my paper snips. Okay, so now this is going to fold right up to this area right here on that very first score line at four and a half. I'm going to Put that right up against that, press that down really good, and then see the cup is going to fit inside of there. Then this is going to get layered behind here. And then this little piece is going to be in the front, right there. Okay, now we're going to take our belly band and I'm just going to wrap it from the front and you want this kind of snug because once again this is holding your gift card so if you're giving this as a gift you don't want that card to like slide out so I'm going to adhere it shut on this side right here with the dimensional I'm going to take our linen thread and I'm going to actually wrap this around this belly band. Just adds a little bit of interest to the top of the cup holder. And then your thanks a latte is going to be popped up onto your little corrugated elements. There's a assorted pack that looks like this when you get them. I'm using the oval. So I'm going to pop that up on that. And then I'm going to actually pop this up over top of that seal part right there. Just like that. And then I'm going to take the liquid glue. I'm going to add a little linen bow. Well, which I already went ahead and tied that. Press that into the glue. Okay, so then your gift card, let me take this one out of here. See, then your gift card will slide right behind that. Okay, and then you have your little coffee cup. Now mine over here, I added the little Snickers miniature fun size. 
they hold two of them in the cups. Um, at the Glitter Queen's Retreat, we added the chocolate-covered coffee beans. So then you can put your coffee cup inside there. Looks like that. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and decorate the coffee cup lid. Okay, so I have a piece of early espresso and another piece of the designer paper that we use to wrap the cup. I'm going to use one and three-eighths circle punch with the early espresso. And then the one and a quarter inch circle punch with the designer paper. And I just found a cup that I liked here for the lid. Punch that out. And then you're going to adhere these two together. And then this gets stuck onto the lid just like that. So we're just going to put adhesive on that. Isn't it cute? So then your coffee cup sits right inside of the holder, just like that. And of course, the coffee cup is empty, so it needs to have something in it. Now let me show you this other one that I made. So here's one that's using the Spooky Nights designer paper that's going to be in the holiday catalog. Oh my gosh, isn't it cute? Used all the cute little pumpkins. And then I actually added a Dairy Queen gift card to the back side of this one. But oh my gosh, isn't that cute? And then in this one, I added the chocolate covered coffee beans in that one. I should probably put the Snickers ones in here since it's like a trick-or-treating one, Halloween. And then here's the other one that I have the Snickers in. Okay, so that's how you make that little mini coffee cup and gift card holder. I'll have all the items listed below as well as the site that I bought the coffee cups. So that's all in the information in the description box below. And then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye! Oh,